Morning, Imogen. You want some breakfast? No. I couldn't sleep last night and inhaled a pint of chocolate fudge brownie at like five in the morning. I'll get some more after school. All good. It's okay. I'll do it. Yeah. And I'll come back from a picture another time. Karen's a giant walking macroaggression. But there's safety in numbers. You want to sit together at lunch? Yeah, for sure. Cool. I'll meet you in the cafeteria. And Imogen, fuck them. You don't owe anyone anything. Thanks, Tabby. The teen tragedy of the week is full on spiraling. What? You calling Karen a bitch in front of everyone? That wasn't spiraling. That mm. was truth. Not that part so much. I um, had a panic attack yesterday. A series of mini panic attacks. My God. When you say panic attacks, do you mean? I mean, I couldn't stop throwing up. And I asked Nurse Simmons to make me an appointment for an abortion. But other than that. <laughs> Listen, no one loves an abortion road trip movie more than me. But I don't think. No, I know. It wasn't a rational request. <laughs> it's all just so impossible. Like, it was hard enough when my mom was still here. But now that it's just me. <laughs> right. I went back to the house yesterday. Tabby, the night my mom... That night, my mom got this. It's an invitation to some party back when she was in high school. Also, I have no idea why she did it. I mean, my mother would never... She would never leave me that way. Especially not now, when I'm... <sighs> Did she leave a note? This is the picture that I went looking for. My mom came with me to the hospital and held my hand and said everything was going to be okay. That was a lie, I guess. Everything is gonna be okay. And for what it's worth, I think you should run for Spirit Queen. Oh God. <laughs> Come on, let's go Tracy Flick on this bitch. Mm -hmm. We can make flyers for your campaign and we can put them up tomorrow. And worst case scenario, we make Karen sweat just a little bit. Mm. That might be worth it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs>